resulting long economic standstill despite security reinforcement. According to traders, this is due to the tension brought by fear of the effects of anti-government protesters. Despite security being tightened, traders are calling on the government to find a long-term solution. Here is more on the same. Contrary to its boisterous nature, the Nairobi CBD today was characterized by nearly empty streets, closed shopping premises and patrolling police vehicles. Consequently, the business and transport sectors are today counting losses, which are being attributed to the ongoing anti-government countrywide protests. I believe neither side is gaining from this. You look at the streets, it's so empty. And uh, personally, as a business person, this is affecting me because clients are not in town and appointments are getting rescheduled uh, every now and then. Kama saizi, we as hospitality industry, hatuna kazi, kila kitu imesimama. Town, ukiangalia duka zote zimefungwa. What does that mean? That means a lot of revenue is lost, a lot of work is lost. Lakini saizi, when you naangalia hivi, hakuna hata na jaribu kuchapa maraondi, at least nipate utuka hata katik moja. Hakuna msa unakuta na ye. To be sincere, ii maandamano haitusaidi. Tuseme tu kweli. Inasaidia na wapi. Kama saa hii hapa inasaidia na wapi. Similar ambience was also witnessed across major cities and towns where other regions experience extreme conditions, including loss of property. Operators in these sectors are however calling for a quick solution to minimize further losses. Ile kitu mi naomba ni seme ni hivi. We need dialogue. We need dialogue. Watu wanafaa waonge, watu wasikizane, na turegirea kazi zetu. Sabu sasa angalia, shule leo zimefungwa, biashara leo zimefungwa. We are losing in all signs. I appeal that uh, they should find a political solution, a long-lasting solution, uh, not just based on uh, partisan interest, but with the interest of the people at heart. Because the real issue is the cost of living and the soaring prices. That is the real issue. So uh, that's my opinion, that there needs to be dialogue without looking at which side is right and which side is wrong. The transport sector is a key organ supporting SMEs which in turn supply revenue to both national and county governments. A major disruption in either or both transport sector or business operations in a major city like Nairobi may lead to an economic contraction. Hillary Kabila, GBS News.